Good morning and welcome to the 24th edition of Wake Up Tacoma. Today is Tuesday, October 8th. Good news, Dad. We've just had a latent bus to arrive. They are being sent immediately. Uh, please allow them entry and mark them uh, to our excuse. Thank you. Our top story today. Remember, 8th grade students, today during lunch is your opportunity to learn more about the leadership training program at Kennedy High School. Please come to the counseling department before lunch tomorrow to get your pass. Good morning, actors, helpers, and all creative people looking for something to do after school. Tacoma Park Middle School's Drama Club is presenting Frozen Junior and needs your help and participation. Our first meeting will be October 16th in the cafeteria after school. For more details, see Ms. Murphy and check the Drama Club Google Classroom. The code is 5P976A. Again, the code is 5P976A. See you there. And now, a word from our sponsor. Hey, it's Mr. Wilson. I wanted to introduce this video because it's a great video, an oldie but a goodie from back 2016. But I also wanted to explain that the Wake Up Tacoma student productions are for a reason. They're not just to enjoy, although I hope you do enjoy them, especially this one, but they're to learn from. These PSAs, public service announcements, are for us to understand why we do or don't do certain things. If I make a public service announcement about being safe in the hall, it's because we need to be safe in the hall. I do not want any of my students, students in Mr. Wilson's class, listen up, to have productions that end with, detention, no, anymore. Why? Number one, it's overused. I don't want any more of those. But two, that's not why we don't run in the hall. Why shouldn't you run in the hall? Because you'll get detention. No, because it's not safe. This is about don't bring distracting items to class. Why shouldn't we bring distracting items to class? Well, because they distract you and others from learning. I'm going to explain what I do in my class, which is probably similar to what your teachers do in their other classes. If I see a student who has a distracting item, I say, please put that away. And as long as it goes away, that's fine. If it doesn't go away, or if I see that same student with another distracting item, doesn't matter if it's the same one or a different day, I will take it. And as long as they give it to me with no problem, I will give it back to them at the end of the class. If they don't want to give it to me and they give me a hard time, I will keep it for longer. But end of class, not that big of a deal. If I see that same student a third time, I will keep it until the end of the day. And I'll often contact home. If I see that same student with a distracting item a fourth time, I contact home and I keep it until I hear the parents say, we have talked about this with our student and they understand no distracting items in class. Well, what constitutes a distracting item? Obviously, one thing is phones. They're not to be in, in class and on. If I see this, I will take it and don't say I'm not giving it to you. You will give it to me and if you do that, I'll keep it longer than normal. So number one, put it away. Yes, sir. Put it away. No problem. Number two, I see it again. I'll keep it till the end of the class. As long as you do that, no problem. Again, the end of the day, etc. Also, little toys. Don't bring in toys like little mini skateboards. <clears throat> and if you do, put it in your pocket and don't bring it back out or I will take it. Or something as simple as a rubber band. If this is distracting to you and or others, this is a distracting item. If you want to keep this rubber band, put it away. Because if I take a rubber band from you, you're not getting it back. Um, you shouldn't have paper clips that you've unbent. By the way, those are dangerous as well as distracting. If you find a paper clip, give it to your teacher so they can reuse it and it doesn't go to waste. Don't bend it and then try to poke another student with it. So enjoy this and remember, don't bring distracting items to class, especially. All right, class, as you know, today we're going to start videotaping, so that means you're going to have to have all of your pre-production done. That means your pre-production sheet, your script, your storyboard, all of that has to be done before you actually can go out and tape. Okay, so we know from before that we need to get our field work sheet uh, signed. Fill that out and you should take care of logistics. And logistics are important because Jack, what is that? It's stone, Jake Stone. And this is a fake rat. Well, uh, Jake Stone, uh, I don't want any of that stuff in my class. Could you just put that on the floor for me, please? I guess. Get 
too many crickets! Anything else? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Jake, what are you thinking bringing all this stuff to my classroom? It's fun stuff. Fun stuff is fun. Do you have something against fun or something? I don't have anything against fun, Jake, but when you bring these things into my classroom, you're distracting all my students. I'm trying to talk to them, and they're all looking at your little toys. Whatever. Like I said, I don't care. Whatever? All right, Jake. I'll tell you what. I've got a little toy of my own. Let me introduce Mr. Chicken to your dead rat. <laughs> I've got a little toy of my own. Let me introduce Mr. Dead Rat to Mr. Chicken. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Let me introduce Mr. Dead Rat to Mr. Chicken. No, I didn't put that. Oh, there goes his ear. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. If you were invited to participate in the YMCA group, you must return your permission slip by this Friday, October 11th. Please go to the counseling department to see Mrs. Martinez if you need another copy or if you have any questions. Attention girls in grades six, seven, and eight. Thursday will be the first meeting for community bridges. Please report to room 104 after school. Chess club is canceled. This, this just, just in. in. This just in. Eighth graders, Miss Eaton is still missing a lot of permission slips for our field trip next week. The deadline for permission slips is Thursday, the day after tomorrow. This Thursday, two days from today. Check the list outside room 317 to double check that you turned yours in. This just in as well. Girls and boys softball and cross country are canceled for today. There are no activity buses for today. This just in as well. The GSA will be having a non-perishables drive for the Casa Ruby from Thursday the 10th of October to Tuesday the 29th of October. Items include, but are not limited to, toilet paper, non-perishable food, toothpaste, deodorant, and other goods. If you would like to stop by and donate items on Thursday morning, there will be a box with GSA Casa Ruby Drive written on it, and it will be down by the main office. This just in as well. Attention all difference makers. There will be no difference makers general meeting this week. Again, there will be no general meetings this week. DM officers will meet on Thursday in room 210. This just in as well. Attention all students. Science Bowl tryouts will be moved to Thursday, October 21st. Again, Science Bowl tryouts will be moved to Thursday, October 24th. Please remember to stay tuned for our Mindfulness Minute following Wake Up Tacoma. Try to close your eyes, clear your mind, and concentrate on your breathing. This has been Arna and Will with Wake Up Tacoma. Have, Have a great day! day.